Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Fajika, a place for budding and aspiring entrepreneurs. Guys, I got something really different for you guys today. I am actually, you guys know I'm an advocate for self-education, for always seeking additional knowledge and wisdom. And truth be told, I have already recorded a vision board video for you guys. And so I'll be posting that up pretty soon. But I also had already planned to go to a goal setting workshop today. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I don't know how much I'll be able to show in the building, but at least I can take away, I can, at least I can provide you guys with some takeaways um, from the session and then follow that up by posting the vision board video. So guys, I'm so excited for this. I got to wrap up some things and then I'll be taking you along with me. I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a quick outfit check before I leave out for today. So guys, I figured that this is like a casual event so I didn't go too overboard, but I did put on a light blazer and then I just paired that with some jeans and guys, it is truly fall. So I went ahead and put some boots on just so I could elevate the outfit a little bit, but I'm really hoping guys that I'm actually able to take you into the event with me. If I'm not allowed, I'll at least show you the venue. Okay guys, see you in a minute. So the good thing about this event is it literally was like six miles away from my home. <laughs> so I'm already here and I'm about 10 minutes early. So rather early than late, right? So I wanted to take a little bit of time because I don't know what I said at the beginning of this video because I was in a rush. You know how you find out something is close to your house? So you kind of lollygag a little bit, do some other things, and then you're like, oh shoot, it's time to go. So that's where I was in that moment. So that's funny, y'all. That's my baby son's, um, that's my youngest son's Halloween thing in the back there. <laughs> he left it in the car. So y'all, excuse me. This is definitely a mother's car. Um, so what I was trying to explain a little bit earlier is I always encourage people to do uh, seminars, workshops. You know, you obviously know I'm an advocate of YouTube videos anywhere that you can accumulate or gain knowledge and so that is so that you can incorporate that knowledge into what it is that you're doing you know and incorporate that knowledge into your aspirations so i just kind of wanted to plug back in to say that um it looks like the event is at a cafe so that's pretty cool too hopefully it's a good vibe when i walk in um but again this is regarding goal setting it's a workshop and i'm super excited so hopefully it's a good thing and again i'll try to see if i could take you along with me um in the event if not then i will be just kind of checking back in with you a little bit later to tell you all i learned okay y'all see you in a minute So I actually made it back home and just wanted to kind of share some final thoughts with you. It was a great event. Um, I do want to tell you that it was a very intimate setting. So I think there was about 10 of us um, outside of the facilitator, the young lady that hosted it. Um, but it was really nice. I really liked, I think we all fed off of each other in a positive way. Um, there was lots of positive energy in the room, so I absolutely felt at home, really felt like I can, um, you know, be myself and really be there to experience something. For those of you who are used to facilitating, you're kind of used to leading conversations, it's nice to sit, sit back sometimes and actually receive information and really just be a participant rather than a facilitator. So we were given this nice um gift when we left the event um and so i wanted to kind of share its contents with you so i'm going to open it up real quick and then i'm going to share some 
um, kind of final thoughts with you guys. So in terms of the box, oh, nice. Um, so it's a me time journal, which I love journaling. I'm constantly writing stuff down. I think I've shared with you in videos before. I always have some type of notepad, um, some type of journal, something ready to kind of write notes because you never know. <laughs> My girlfriend says you never know when you're going to get a download. So I typically keep paper around me. So as thoughts come to me, as creativity comes to me, you know, I can jot it down. And I'm so glad um, that I purchased the other candle that she had um, there at the event because it looks like she gave us the other one. So I'm excited about that. So that was very nice, um, very nice event. It always feels good to kind of refresh and renew. So definitely to kind of, um, just kind of to share about what I learned, really taking the time. One of the questions that she, she asked us as an audience was, you know, how often do you tell yourself that you love yourself? And I was trying to remember the last time I told myself I love myself. So that lets you know I don't do it often at all. Um, but she kind of made the point of, but how often do you tell your your children, you know, your spouse, your friends, close family members? And I thought about it. That's true for those people. I tell them daily, sometimes multiple times a day that I love them. But I can't even remember the last time um, that I've shared or told myself. Um, that I love myself, that I appreciate myself. And uh, she used the example of in that airplane, when they roll out those oxygen masks, you know, the instructions is for you to put the oxygen mask on yourself first so that you can help others. And so she likened that question to that. It's really just about loving yourself, um, promoting self-care, doing those things to make sure that you're okay so that you can, you know, be your best for others. Um, so that really resonated with me because I am a nurturer. I am a giver. I would say most women are. And hey, I'm not going to even, you know, bring gender into it because I know that there are a lot of male nurturers and givers out there too. So if you find that you are a giver, that you are a nurturer, and you're always giving, and you're always giving, you know, make sure that you make some time to yourself, to give to yourself. You know, what are some of those things that you want? I heard a lot of the ladies talking about being present. Just really not always looking for next, what's next or speeding up, you know, to get somewhere and then, you know, speeding to get back home. And it's like, we're always a rush for what's next. But what about enjoying the now? So that was a big lesson for me. Um, all in all, um, you know, y'all, I'm very selfish with my Sundays. This was absolutely a good time spend. So um, I'm thankful that I went. So I definitely want to encourage you, make sure you're finding avenues, finding ways to grow yourself in wisdom and knowledge because all of that information will be reproduced by yourself at a later time. You never know when you're going to have to dig into that tool belt that you have of life and call back to some of those experiences. So guys, the next video you see from me is going to be the vision board exercise. So I cannot wait for that, that I'm actually so excited to share that information with you. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Stay blessed.